Chris, remarkably, last year you were the coach for both World Championship finalists. How do you reflect on that now? It's an amazing achievement. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a special atmosphere, a special environment, it was a special occasion. It was an unusual role that I had to uh, get involved with, working in both changing rooms, advising both players, playing against each other in a world final. It wasn't easy. Um, it was fantastic at the same time, but it was a challenge. Um, and ultimately, I have to be very pleased and happy with that result. But it was disappointing for one player. That's the nightmare with snooker. There's always a loser. Yeah. Um, but Mark happened to win the final again, four times a champion. And it was a wonderful experience. And as a coach, you have so much technical understanding of the game, but also psychological understanding. We're here at the qualifiers speaking to you now. How do you use that knowledge to help the players who you're coaching? Yeah. When you look at performance and how we perform at things, how we feel and how our emotional states are, plays a huge role in that. And when you've got these qualifiers for the World Championship, the points, the money, uh, the rankings, all these things play into this sort of um, mix, if you like. And it's having a big influence on how people you know, deal with these situations. So basically my job is to help them feel relaxed and calm, which is not easy. So we have some routines for that. But to, I think to really focus on the few two or three things you can control that help you to perform at your best. Mm. And my job is to keep reminding these guys, don't get carried away, don't be thinking future, don't be thinking about consequences, don't be thinking about what ifs. Let's come back to now. Concentration is all about thinking about this moment, what are we doing in this second, and what can we do in this second that helps us to perform at our best. So we've just spoken to James, and he, he, he's, one, he's one of your players, James Cahill. So you're, you're essentially unifying his thoughts yes. against that match. Yeah. And when you mentioned thoughts, you know, we look at trying to get results and results come from how you perform and how you perform is mostly about how you feel, but it's your thoughts that are creating all these things. Mm. Most of our thoughts are automatic, caused by repetition over the last two, three, four months. So what you've been thinking about over the last few months is important to create these automatic thoughts because a thought creates a chemical that makes you feel that way. So if most thoughts are automatic, let's get them on automatic positive and automatic focus kind thoughts that help us to perform. So we've been back working for about three months, four months now, James and, James and I, and he's, he's in a far better place mentally now than he was four months ago. Mm. And we do a lot of on-table specific shot routines that keep us strong in all areas, long potting, safety game, you know, specific reds, pinks and blacks, positional routines, but we do challenging routines. Yeah. You might have heard of a, a guy called Dave Allred, for example, and he worked with uh, Molinari, Francesco mm. Molinari, a few years ago. And, and Francesco had his best season ever. And one of the things they were doing was, in practice, they were trying to recreate match situations. Because if you can do that with your brain, it deals with that situation better when it actually starts to happen, happen in right. real. So they're the kinds of things that so, we work on. So, so the, the common thing that we see with all the players is, is fear in this environment here. So you're trying to move their mind away from that fear. What, what is it about that environment out there that creates fear in a player? Because it's exactly the same as every other environment they play in. Yeah, fear Physically. Is, well, yeah, it absolutely Physically. is. Yeah, it is. Fear, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. Now, is there something to be afraid of? Not really, mm -hmm. but if you put so much emphasis and importance on winning and losing, which you can't control, yeah. and that's the problem, you're trying to control something you can't control, then you create fear and that dreaded word anxiety. And when you start to get this anxious feeling, it really has a negative inf influence on your performance. So fear, you go and watch a horror movie, it's a white plastic screen, it's not real, but why after 10 minutes are you hiding behind your seat? Because your brain's reacting to that like it's real and you experience it that way. So the subconscious part of our brain is dealing with things as fact all the time, even though it's not real. It's a bit similar to a, you know, a nightmare. You've gone to bed nice and relaxed, you've woken up at three o'clock in the morning, and now you're sweating and you're afraid because your brain's just had a nightmare. It's not real, but it's creating this fear that it is real. And this can do the same to you. So you've got to be very good at dealing with that. Understanding that it's normal, you know, it's not something that's unusual. When our brain sees something it doesn't recognise, adrenaline starts to fuel and fire. But adrenaline can be used in the right way as well. So these are the things we, we look at.
I think we need an hour with you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your insight. Pleasure.